Even where I don't get with my gold because I'm BA gold. But the gold card allows me one extra. One extra back from the a ticket allowance. Okay, uh, alright. I will find you the ticket so you can see how many cash you allow. Okay, no, it's alright. And sixty dollars, right? Okay, first impression is pretty great. I'm not flying first or club, uh, but economy check-in just behind me was really quiet and really easy. Didn't even have to queue at all. Actually, top tip, I was booked a handbaggage only fare. Um, thanks, Zach. Uh, so I had to pay $60 for a bag, but my BA status allowed me to get one extra bag had I have wanted it, but actually I don't have another bag. Um, but that is one to watch out for. Status doesn't trump your handbaggage only. There was absolutely zero queue this morning when I went to check in. Took about five minutes to check my bag, get my boarding pass, and I was already through security about five minutes after that. There she is, Mademoiselle Rouge, ready to take me back to London. from Newark Airport. It's about 6.30 in the morning here. I've just checked my bag in ahead of my 8.30 a.m. flight back to London Heathrow. Breezed through security pretty quickly. There's quite a big line but didn't take too long to get through at all. Heading to go and get some coffee now because it's still very early but so far so good from United. I quite like Newark to be fair. I mean it's my second time here. It feels very like fresh and new and clean. Loads of cafes and restaurants and so far my experience couldn't have been smoother. Check-in experience was pretty slow. Uh, I really love Norwegian. Um, I sometimes forget they're a low-cost airline because the planes are new uh, and the service is fantastic, but check-in did take quite some time. Security is reasonably quick. Uh, TSA agents, as usual, really, really rude, just screaming at everybody for no reason. Um, I find the security, like the TSA agents here, to be pretty unfriendly and pretty unprofessional as well. Very friendly and easy check-in in American Airlines. Um, great start. Now let's see whether security is going to be easy as well. How was my experience? Hmm. I think security is always very sh. It's hard to get a good view, but today I'm flying my British Airways 747. Okay, let's board. Thank you. Hi. Thank you very much. Morning. Hello. 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 Oh, this is actually a really good seat. So I have loads of space down here to uh, have got my bag down here. There's actually loads of room for my legs. Look at this. Like it's soft, kind of comfortable, kind of thin, but like will definitely do the job. Um, pillow is square, bit of a horrible 
cover to it, but also we'll do the trick short day flight. I think if I was on an overnight economy, this would not be ideal at all. Not great. But at least you get some. Not the biggest ever, but decent size. Uh, it's touchscreen. Jeez! Actually can't hear you at all. This Virgin A330 is only nine years old, so it's quite new in terms of A330s. And I know a lot of the new aircraft have thin seats that aren't very comfortable, like on the Dreamliners, whatever else, but this is, this is really comfy. It's thick, it's soft. It's got the, the head pads as well, which is perfect for resting. And the best bit, it reclines quite a long way, actually, for an economy cabin. Pretty impressive. and the space we have. As you can see, there's not like loads of leg room. A little pocket, tray table, and TV, which is like an, an okay size, not too bad at all. So in terms of amenities, we don't have a kit to speak of, but we do have a couple of little extras. We've got this pillow, which isn't particularly soft, but does the job. We have this blanket, which to be honest, feels more like a big tea towel than an actual blanket to sleep with. Uh, but yeah, there's not much we can do. And we have some earbuds, and they're okay. I was a little bit worried, being the last row of economy, that the seat wouldn't recline. Um, it's cabin, but does it work? It goes back. Even though Norwegian is a low-cost carrier, they do provide in-flight entertainment for free, which includes lots of different movies on the seat back screen and Wi-Fi as well. starting the meal service from the back of the aircraft because it's a long way to the front of the aircraft. So it's nice that it's this way around. Pleasant surprise.
And now it's 7.30 p.m. back in London. Now leaving United Airlines 767 Economy. That was American Airlines. Economy class from New York's one. So that was Norwegian 787 Dreamliner. And that is New York to London on a British Airways 747 in economy. Done. <laughs>